operational use of DVR. As I uh, as I told, the DVR are usually located uh, at or near an airport. It can give in, uh, information uh, to an approaching uh, aircraft as well as it can en route uh, the aircraft which are overflowing above this airport. So uh, to have uh, that is it it can give uh, bearing information to an aircraft which is approaching to this DVR of this airport as well as uh, it can navigate or it can uh, give the direction to uh, aircraft flying to some other airport that is en routing it calls en route that is um, it gives the bearing it provides the bearing information to an aircraft over flying this dbr then uh, principle of dbr so uh, in this DVR, actually it transmit 230 hertz signal. 230 hertz uh, signal uh, uh, in the all 360 degree angle. That is in all direction. The DVR transmit 230 hertz signal in all direction. The 130 hertz uh, signal will have same phase in all direction, but the second 30 hertz signal have variable phase in the direction. The phase of the uh, this second 30 hertz signal is equal to the respective angle with respect to north. That means uh, if it if uh, the first 30 hertz signal it transmit at equal phase in north, south, east, west in any direction, but in the second 30 hertz signal it transmit in the north with a zero degree phase and in the west with a 90 degree phase shift and in the east uh, sorry in the south um, with 180 degree phase shift and in the east to 70 degree phase shift and uh, you know in any direction the phase shift will be equal to the angle of that direction with the north magnetic north so uh, in this diagram you can see that uh, in the north direction both uh, 30 head signal have same phase and in the west direction the first one is have zero degree phase and second one have 90 degree phase shift and in the south direction the first one first 30 hertz signal has zero degree and the second 30 hertz signal have 180 degree and in the east direction the first uh, signal has zero phase degree and the second uh, 30 hertz signal has 270 this is 270 phase difference so when aircraft is receiving these two signal it can identify its position with respect to north the first signal will receive uh, with a zero phase degree and the second signal will uh, receive with a phase difference so equal to the magnet uh, angle between north direction so in this way uh, by finding the phase difference between the received signal it can identify its azimuth angle the respect to north the first signal is known as a reference signal this reference uh, signal 30 hertz reference signal is amplitude modulated uh, to the vhf carrier and uh, this signal is om uh, transmitted omnidirectionally omnidirectionally by a sender antenna that is, it is transmitted equal power in all direction. And the second signal is known as variable signal. That is, which has variable phase in, uh, in different direction. This 30 hertz uh, signal is modulated with the frequency modulated to VHF uh, frequency. And its phase is varies with the varies with the, the direction that is the uh, phase difference will be equal to the angle between the direction of transmission and the magnetic north 
So in this way, uh, the aircraft can identify its relative direction, its relative azimuth angle with respect to north, magnetic north. The no pressure use in the D, uh, the DVR can uh, system can combine with the DME tech and Vortec. DME tech and Vortec are the distance measuring uh, sys navigational systems. So uh, along with uh, the DV, DVOR, along with the DME tech and Vortec, it can identify the distance to the ground station as well as the direction of uh, aircraft with respect to ground station. So from this uh, distance and the direction uh, the aircraft can accurately measure is the position, its position. From the distance and uh, the direction the aircraft can calculate its own position very accurately. So uh, this, these uh, systems are mainly used for aircraft navigation. So uh, that's about DVOR. Okay, thank you for watching.